fish soup of Marseille, a recipe for the French Mediterranean coast with all the flavors from Provence combined in this rich, tasty, flavorful, delicate fish soup. To make the fish soup of Marseille, you will need thyme, grated Gruyere cheese, rosemary, olive oil, pepper, garlic, salt, cayenne pepper, orange, bay leaves, saffron, and the zest of the orange. Then a mirepoix of carrot, onion, celery, and fennel, tomato puree, tomato paste, white wine, and perno or pastis. This is optional. Fish bones and bread. Marseille is on the French coast of the Mediterranean Sea and people when they want to make the soup they buy what we call fish for soup. So those include various species of small fish usually that size and all kind of colors and the particularity for the soup is that you just give a rinse to the fish but you don't clean the inside you leave everything in there so when you process the soup through the vegetable meal you do have some flesh which gives some consistency to the soup unless you live by the mediterranean sea you won't find those fish so today i'm using a red snapper because the particular of the soup or those species is that they are species that live near the rock near the shore uh, i like to use the red snapper because it's very flavorful there's a lot of bones and today i'm using also the flesh of the snapper you may use only the bones including the head without the eyes and in order to have a little bit of flesh to have some kind of consistency you may add something else like a sole that cut in pieces or something else so really speak with your fishmonger in order to decide what you should buy to make a beautiful fish soup of marseille let's start our soup hit a pot Add the olive oil, add the fish bones that I have washed very well for about 20 minutes until the water is totally clear. I have removed all the blood and, and you have to make sure you drain them. Here I have a three pound snapper and I ask the fishmonger to cut it into pieces for me. Cook the fish bones on medium heat for about five minutes, stirring from time to time. Add the wine and cook for another five minutes. Cut the orange in quarters. Great. Stir. Smells great. Smells fishy. Now let's add the aromatic garnish. Add the small mirepoix of onion, celery, carrot, and fennel. So here I have one onion, one branch of celery, one medium carrot, and half fennel bulb. So add the orange, so squeeze, just squeeze the juice. And 
leave half of the orange, like two quarters, in the soup. Add the bay leaves, the thyme and the rosemary. the orange zest, the head of garlic cut in half, the saffron, the cayenne pepper, the tomato paste, of the can and the tomato puree and mix well Rinse the bowl of the tomato puree in order to not waste anything. Let us stir. And add the cold water, about two quarts. Mix well, bring the soup to a boil and simmer for a good two hours. Add the perno or Ricard. Although this is optional, it's something I strongly recommend as it will add a nice, beautiful flavor of licorice to the soup. Great. Turn the soup on high heat in order to bring it to a boil. Then we will reduce the heat to a medium low heat and we let simmer the soup for about a good two hours. The soup is boiling. Turn it down to a medium low heat in order to let it simmer and skim the foam part. So using a skimmer, give it a stir and let it cook. The soup has been simmering for an hour now. It is time to remove the fat that is floating on the top. So the fat comes from the olive oil, but also from the fish. Great. Give it a stir to make sure that nothing stick to the bottom of the pot and let it simmer for an extra hour. Our soup has been simmering for a good two hours now. So let's taste it and rectify the seasoning. Nice. Alors, a little bit more salt. I prefer to put the seasoning at the end for that soup because it did reduce by half almost, so quite a bit. Pepper. And I'm going to add a little bit of cayenne pepper, just a little bit more. stir. Test again. Beautiful. Let's pass the soup through the food meal. This is the hard part now. So you want to pass everything through the sieve. Of course, the bones won't pass through the sieve. Only all the, the vegetables, uh, the flavor, the flesh uh, will go through the soup, making the soup a little bit thicker. Push the ingredients down 
in order to present them to the blade here. Pass or squeeze or press on the ingredients here until it's totally dry. This is the most important step of the soup because we are extracting all the flavors. Clean under. And discard the dry ingredients here. Done! Wow, what a workout! About 10 minutes of mixing. Um, I'm going to degrease a little bit my soup here. I still have a little bit of fat on the, on the side here. So my fish here is, and my bones, and it's very dry. So you will have to discard that, of course. Um, but you shouldn't see any liquid. It should be totally dry, okay? Because all the flavors now are here. So let's boil the soup, prepare the crouton, and serve the soup. Slice the bread into thin slices about the size of my finger, so quarter inch slices. And you need about, usually we do three slices per person. Place the slices on a cookie sheet or cookie tray and broil it to have the bread golden brown. Because my broiler is on high, Keep an eye on your bread because it will go quite fast. So the bread is ready. Turn the slices. And brown the other side. Perfect. Our soup is boiling. It's time for us to serve it. Have the gruyere, rouille and crouton served separately on the side and each guest with the soup will take what he wants and mix it into the soup. And the crouton usually will take a little bit of rouille. Either you put them in the soup or you put a little bit of rouille and spread it on the crouton and eat it like that while you eat your soup. It's really up to you. Now, Serve the soup in a preheated soup plate or soup bowl. The flavor is amazing. I feel like I'm in Provence having the soup in Marseille. Oh, well, my soup, of course. Fish soup or Marseille? Bon appétit!